In this robotic project, we will build an automatic grass cutter robot or a lawn mower robot using Arduino. Let's see the demo first. The robot can cut the excess grass in the garden automatically. If there is an obstacle in the garden, it will automatically change its direction. It helps to reduce human efforts. So let's see how you can build the lawn mower robot. This video is sponsored by Next PCV and HQ Online. The HQ Online is a one-stop electronic component sourcing platform. HQ Online provides a complete set of electronic component business services. All you need to do is search the electronic component with a part number. As it has a fastest search engine, it will show you the list of all available parts. Add the part to your cart, then place the order. To get started, check the link in the description. Let's see what components we need for this project. We need an Arduino Uno board. Then an L293D motor driver shield can fit on the top of the Arduino Uno board perfectly. An ultrasonic sensor HCSR04. Then an ultrasonic sensor holder or a case. 4 DC gear motors. This can be 300 RPM or 500 RPM. BLDC motor of 1000 kV. To control the motor, we need an ESC module called an electronic speed controller. To attach the BLDC motor, X type cross holder is required. This is SC90 servo motor. This is servo motor tester used to start, stop and control the PLDC motor speed. We need robot, chassis, wheels and other components as well. All need to be assembled together. All other components along with their purchase link are given in the website article. Once all these components are ready, you can start the assembly process. The block diagram of the Arduino automatic cross cutting robot shows how the different components are connected and how they interact with one another to perform the task of cutting grass automatically. The Arduino board acts as the brain of the robot, controlling all other components and executing the programmed instructions. The ultrasonic sensor is used to detect the location of grass and obstacles in the robot's path. The L293D motor driver shield is used to control the movement of the robot and is connected to the microcontroller. The 4 DC gear motors are used to power the movement of the robot and servo motor SC90 is attached at the head so pan motion to look for an obstacle on the left, right and front. For the cutting mechanism, a 100 kV BLDC motor is used which rotates at a very high speed. This motor is connected to a cutting blade which is used to cut the grass. The on-off mechanism and speed of the motor is controlled using the servo motor tester. The robot requires a power source to operate which can be rechargeable battery or a power cord. In our case, we are using an 11.1 volt LiPo battery. Using the robot chassis and all the components, I finally assembled the robot model. For the demo, I am using two batteries, a pair of 18650 battery to power Arduino and an 11.1 volt LiPo battery to power the BLDC motor. But in your case, a single LiPo battery is enough. At the front section, BLDC motor is used along with the plate for the demo. This project is not a toy. It contains sharp blades which can cause serious injuries if it is not used carefully. Do not leave it unattended. The blades should be correctly fixed 
checked before operating the robot. On the head section, an ultrasonic sensor is attached to check the obstacle and direction. On the back side, I have soldered all the motors perfectly so used glue to fix it so that the wires do not come out while moving. Let's see the coding part. The code requires the AF motor library for controlling four motors using the motor driver set. Similarly, it also requires the new ping library. The servo library is for controlling the servo motor. The echo and trick pins for the ultrasonic sensor are defined here. The maximum distance, speed and offset are set here. Then we define the motor control pins along with the PWM frequency. We create instances for servo motors and define some boolean conditions. Under this set of section, we initialized servo and ultrasonic sensors. Under the loop section, we check the right and left distance and on the basis of that, the robot moves in forward, backward, left and right directions. All the moves and stopping parameters and conditions are defined in the loop section. Now, all you need to do is compile the code and upload it to the Arduino Uno board. Now the code uploading is done. So let's test the robot in the field. Turn on the switch on the robot. And make sure that the power source is providing the correct voltage to the Arduino board and that all the components are properly connected. Now, using the servo tester, activate the BLDC motor. Then, test the cutting mechanism by manually activating it and ensuring that it cuts the grass effectively. Finally, test the robot's navigation and autonomy as it moves around the test area and cut the grass. Check that the robot can navigate around obstacles and that it cuts the grass to the desired height. That is all from the automatic grass cutting robot part. Thank you for watching.